This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I've got a brand new tank for you. And that is, if you might have guessed already, the T110E5. That's right. On my quest to complete the American tech tree, I had to unlock it. It was a must. I was closer to this than I was with the final tank, which is the E4. But I'm, I'm getting there. But the E5 tank that I've been wanting to play for a long time. It's been overpowered for quite a while. Unfortunately, right before I get it, it gets nerfed. <laughs> that's just the way it goes. But that's okay, because it's still a very viable tank. It's a heavy tank, but at the same time, it's got decent mobility. It's got a decent gun. Uh, it doesn't really do any particular thing well, but I'll tell you what, the accuracy on this gun separates it from most heavy tanks. It's not the punchiest gun in the world, but it'll it'll hit decent. It'll hit for 400 usually a shot. Sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower, but right around 400 a shot. And it's got decent penetration, though I will say I'm a little disappointed in the penetration of this 120 millimeter. Um, it, it's caught me a couple times off guard. Now here we put a shot into the side of the E50. Right off the bat we ammo rack him. He's going to have to use his repair kit for that because nobody wants to play the entire match ammo rack, right? Especially when any, at any time somebody could hit your ammo rack again and that'd be the end of you. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who hits you at that point. Uh, so I pull off towards the left and I'm trying to use what the, you know American tanks are noted for, which is sticking the, only the turret up. If you can do that, you can shoot people with taking very little damage because they have to hit your turret. Unfortunately, that E50 that I was showing you earlier, that I put one shot into, he doesn't have to shoot my, uh, my turret because he's got high ground. So he's got more of my tank visible, which is not preferable. But yeah, so they, what did they nerf about the uh, E5? Well, they nerfed its Coppola again. Uh, when they buffed it, you know, I don't remember, maybe a year ago, maybe nine months ago, something like that, they buffed the uh, Coppola. It was darn near impossible to pin the turret of this tank. And I mean darn near impossible. Even shooting ridiculous penetration guns at the, co the commander's hatch, you couldn't pin it. It was that good. Uh, and by that good, I mean that overpowered. Now, I'm taking a couple shots here that are a little off target. I mean... Hitting the side of a uh, fatherland, which is an IS-3. There we go, 440 right through the uh, bottom plate of that fatherland. He gets finished. And the main thing that I want to uh, stress to you guys is I'm not very good in heavy tanks. I'm just not. It doesn't really suit my play style. But the E5 is a lot like the M48 Patton. It's got okay. It's got decent mobility for a heavy tank. And there we get a shot into the back of the M103's turret because he's not paying attention. He immediately turns towards me, and he he hits me with high explosive. So I put one through his commander's hatch to just, you know, show him who's boss. Like, I will end you, e M103. I told you I was going to do it, and I always keep my promises. Now, T... or not T10, the 110. And got it. And there's the bounce. Now, I'm pretty sure I hit his bottom plate, but it might have hit his pike nose. So now I crest the hill, and all he's got to shoot at, and we're kind of... He's in a pretty good position as well. He's on the, the hill, and he's shooting HE at me as well. Now he gives me his bottom plate a lot flatter, and I put one into the side of his tank as he turns to try to drive away from me. Now these guys are calling defend the base. So instead of going for that Waffentrager, I decided to drop back, try to help defend the base. You know, it's the beauty of having a, a heavy tank that's got half his hit points left. And, uh, you know, I'm still not willing to look away. I'm still dri I'm driving towards the base, but if I can get a shot, yep, they finished him right before I could almost get that shot. No big deal. Now, I'm telling this conqueror who's playing full stupid right now, and I don't say that very often, but it's true. This guy sees all of those bad guys headed to the base. And instead of playing smart, 
and using cover. He just drives right out in front of all of them. I tried to take a shot on the bat chat as he's running away, and you know, there was no way that was going to hit, but you never know. Sometimes it will. And I'm going to do something half stupid. Okay? <laughs> he just went, got himself killed immediately. And what can I do to make him feel better? Let's try to get myself killed in the process. Instead of staying back a little bit and then trying, I try to auto lock. A Jag Pansy 100 and I pay the ultimate price <laughs> right there he nails my my bottom plate like he just that was a heck of a snapshot on his part and now there's a Death Star full health watch this I'm gonna back off and we're spotted he's spotted I go to shoot him and because I'm rushing because I do not want to get hit by that because at this point even if he doesn't pin I'm still dead I, I shot the building instead. So, unfortunately there, but, you know, it is what it is. Now I'm about to peek out again while everybody's distracted. Auto lock the Conqueror. There we go, 411 right through the front of his tank. This gun is, I think, a .35 accuracy at, at 100 meters. That's pretty freaking good. Especially for a heavy. And can I get the ear of the... Come on, ear. Nope, it went right into his armor. Now, you might notice I was shooting at his turret, and that's like the only place you got armor on a Death Star. There's a couple places I could hit there. What I was hoping for was a shot into the, uh, I guess it would be a mortar tube or a smoke tube where they uh, throw smoke grenades out of. You know, they shoot them out to uh, provide cover. But yeah, there's just little tubes off the side. Because you can pin those pretty easily. I mean, they're pretty much a square hitbox, so as long as you can hit those, you can pin the the turret of the Death Star, no real problem. Um, I didn't hit it. I hit the front of the armor itself, which at that angle was pretty angled to me, so even though I have decent pin, even though it's not as much pin as you'd expect out of a heavy tank, but it is only 120 millimeter, but that gives you the DPM. The E5 shoots pretty quick. I believe it's a 10 second uh, reload. Uh, maybe a little bit faster once you get BIA and all that stuff, so I didn't pay attention to it. But uh, right here, I'm trying... I should have kept going. I'm trying to get shots. This bat chat's loaded, and he's going in on this E4. E4 should have killed him. And the guy's been a one-shot kill for the entire rest of the game since we took that shot at him. And the E4 missed his shot, obviously, and pays the ultimate price. And then the bat chat dies immediately after. But that's the way it goes. So we end up with nine pins. Uh, ten spotted targets, maybe? 3,100 damage, 1,560 blocked, 2,100 assisted. That gives us third on the leaderboard. So not bad. But that's not all. I want to go ahead and throw in a second match for you guys. Just to give you a little bit of extra on uh, the new tank. Now, I don't think I've ever done this for any of the other tanks that I've gotten recently, so why not do a double feature on a new tank? Now, right off the bat, I'm looking over the uh, tanks on each side, and that's what I do at the start of every match. I look at the tanks, I also look for people. And if you'll see certain people that you come across on a daily basis, and you know that they're really good or they're you know not so good or whatever, and you can pretty much base how you play off of that. But you can also look at the, the tank layouts and pretty much tell how the other team's going to play. Now, they have very few fast tanks. They have two mediums and two lights. They have lots of tank destroyers and lots of heavies. We have, you know, a pretty even mix of uh, four, six, and five. Five heavy tanks, uh, six scout tanks, four tank destroyers. So we have the better layout as far as that goes. Now, as far as tiers and all that stuff, it's anybody's ball game. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that. Uh, but just from a standard layout, we've got the better spread. They're going to be a little slower, taking a little bit longer to get into position. So we make it to the center first. And the team that locks down the center on this map generally wins. Now look at all these tanks that are caught below us. If there was already on our team, they'd be loving us right now. 
And I pull up, I auto lock the ST1, and I pull back, he misses his shot. I know I'm gonna reload before him. And come on, can I get another shot into him? Take time, shot into him, there's 415, I back up, he misses his shell again. I take a shot from the 61, but he, it bounces, you know, type 61, a little tiny. Little tiny tank, no big deal. He pulls up for another shot, and this time I'm ready, and I put a shot back into him, he bounces off of me. That's enough for him, he doesn't want any more to do with that fight, so he's going to back off. The Jag Tiger's coming up, and that's something I don't really feel comfortable pulling out in front of, even with my turret because it's a hundred nope oh, there we go we bounced and i was trying to hit off but i actually hit his gun mantle and so no penetration there but i did bounce his round so that's a good start now there's about to be a tank roll up and i see him coming and i'm like all right i'm gonna hit his commander's hatch pow i hit his commander's hatch and absolutely nothing bounced bounced off his commander's hatch how is that even possible but it happened so, he puts a round into me pretty easily, and I'm not, I still don't know exactly how that happened either. But, it happened. That's all that matters. Now, right here, I'm like, hey. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to yawn. IS-7, back off, let them come in, and then we can tag team them. Because right now, they're going to be able to get multiple shots on us every time we pull out. But if we let them come up, then we can hit them because they can't get all of them in at one time. And it semi-works. The tortoise rolls up and watch this shot. Okay, commander's hatch and shot into the dirt. <laughs> like, I thought I had a clear shot, apparently I didn't. So, you know, that's a thing. And now that type four wants my giblets. But it's okay because I'm gonna give them to him. And, come on, I wanna put one. If he gives me the front of his turret, I will pin him like butter. And come on, he wants it. And I'm trying to get the hang of this tank. This is like my fourth or fifth match in this tank, so I'm still learning it. Now pull out, he takes his shot, he misses. I put one through the front of his turret, no problem. Tortoise shoots, so I pull out. I put one in his commander's hatch and it bounces as well. <laughs> so apparently I can't pin a commander's hatch to save my life in an E5. So I'm going to stop trying to shoot commander's hatches. And I pull out, put one through the engine of the uh, Jag Tiger. He's not going anywhere in a hurry. And then this Type 4 Heavy is just, he's begging for it. That's, that's all I can say is he's really begging for it. Now he shoots. I try to put another one in him. He pulls down. Now that Jag's gone. So I'm like, all right, time to push on this uh, Type 4. There's no sense sitting up here. I'm not going to play this pop and shot game. I pull down, I auto lock him, I shoot the, I shoot the ground, you know, <laughs> it's an accurate gun, and it'd be hard to miss that daggum tank, but apparently it is still possible uh, to get those shots that derp straight into the ground. Now I'm on the back, and he turns just enough to make me uh, shoot the angled part of his tank instead of the back of him. And there we get another shot into his fuel tank, and they finish him off. There's three tanks left. I see that the uh, Death Star on their team is plunging downhill. He's going for a kill. He's got the kill. Can I get a shot into him before he gets killed? There's a lot of friendlies around him. I pull up, and it's going to be close. Shot out. There we got him. 412 right into the back of his tank. He's now dead. That leaves one tank. The Waffentrager Alpha Panzer IV. Now, I switch off of my my uh, heat rounds and I switch to an HE round. Why do I carry HE in this tank? Because it'll allow me to do up to 600 damage, I believe. And Waffentrager Panzer IV, no armor whatsoever so watch this shot here we go and he's broadside on to me can i hit his side and shot out yes we do <laughs> that was a good hit so we end up with nine pins no kills two tri two assisted damage so 3300 damage 1300 blocked and it puts us fifth on the leaderboard so not bad 
So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.